So I just wanted to do a quick video today about the uh, the Second Amendment rally that was held at the State House in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, a lot of people showed up, myself included. Uh, I felt that I had to show up, being a gun owner. I felt there was no other choice except to show up, show my support, and show them that, you know, there's strength in numbers. And I was glad to see that a few hundred people showed up, maybe even more, maybe 500, maybe 600. I'm not sure of the exact count, but a lot of people were there. A lot of people made very valid points. Uh, even non-gun owners that approved of the Second Amendment and appreciated what it stood for showed up to speak. And that was great. That was uh, that was definitely amazing to hear a guy that drove about an hour and a half come all the way out to Boston, not own a single firearm, and get up there and advocate for the Second Amendment. It was great. It was amazing. Um, I wish more people would have done that. Um, there was a guy there with his young kid that told a story about how his his father sh told his father showed him how to shoot, and now he wants to pass it on to his son. But he can't do that if they start taking away all our rights. So you know, it make it really struck home about you know we're not only doing this for us so we can keep our guns, but we're also doing it for the next generation. I was really happy, really pleased to see a lot of people show up. I got a few short video clips. My camera actually died, so I wasn't able to videotape more of it. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna sing along because I suck. All right. God bless America. Yeah. Ready? Right. God bless America. And that I love, stand beside her and guide her.
without dropping it. Well, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a good call. And your brother. today and stood there and showed them that we're not going to take this lightly. We're not going to just give up and say, okay, we're not going to give in. You know, we have to, we have to fight. And right now it's a political fight. It's about using your words and showing them that this is what this is worth what this is worth fighting for to us and we're going to continue to fight for it no matter what so uh, i hope you guys enjoy the video and get out there and do do what's right you know show up to these rallies you know show them that we're normal people you know we're we just enjoy the shooting sports and that's what it's about you know, shooting sports, uh, home protection, personal protection, and just the right to keep and bear arms. And like it says, shall not be infringed. I'm personally not going to take this lightly. I'm going to do everything I can to stop it. You know, I'm one person, but when your neighbor, your friend, your neighbor's friend. When they all get together, it's a community. I'm not going to give up my rights. I'm not going to take it lightly. And right now, we have to make our voices heard. We have to let them know that this is serious to us maybe more so to us than it is to them. And what we have to do right now is write our congressmen, our senators, anybody that's going to listen. You know, write to Congress, write to the president himself. Will he read it? Probably not. Should he read it? Yes. But do whatever you can to let them know that these are our rights and we are going to keep them. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>